These are some of my absolute favorite ways to market my books. Let's get into it. This is a spread in my bullet journal here that I have carried over throughout many bullet journals over the years and I keep adding to it and sometimes taking away and gathering up marketing ideas that work for me that I've enjoyed and now I'm going to share them with you. So on the left side here you can see our more big picture things which I will get into in a second and then on the right side as you can see they're more organic marketing ideas very specific to social media and for me that means to Instagram although I do think some of them carry over it doesn't matter what social media Ugh. so let me get comfortable and we are going to just go through it together the first one on the list is just one word TikTok, and that's because i don't exactly have a strategy yet but i have been hearing from many many authors specifically i did the inkers con conference last year and there was a whole session on it and there were six authors who were making like thousands of dollars and thousands of book sales from TikTok, and they talked about just how incredible it is for authors because this is the biggest thing that i got out of it you don't have to do all the other things like on other social media like on Instagram I need to you know share myself and other aspects of my life and here's the writing and here's some books I like and here's Penny and blah 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 this is just like just who TikToks about your book and it sells the more you can just talk about your book the better we're talking just video after video after video where I get to talk about my books and it's okay and it's exciting and best of all it really does sell books and last year I had just finally started TikTok and I grew like by a thousand followers so I would really love to do a video more about that but this is big picture I need to move on I just wanted to say how awesome TikTok is and that I need to get back on there the next one in here is Amazon ads and it's gonna surprise you that I don't have any Amazon ads going and I haven't in a very very long time I have a lot of authors asking me in the comments what do you do for ads how do you do Amazon ads can you teach us on ads and the truth is I don't like them I just don't. I know that they're really good for authors. I know that I should probably spend more time figuring them out, but for me, they just haven't been that effective. There are other things on this list that I like, but I have them on this list because kind of two things. Number one, if I could spend the time and practice and get better at them, I do think they could be valuable. I just think that they take a lot, a lot, a lot of effort to get good at. And then number two, I do sometimes use Amazon ads around a big event like a book release. The third thing on here, figure out advertising on Google Play and four is also the same. I Idea is learn advertising on other platforms those are the only two things on here that I haven't done there at the top of the list so that I don't forget because I think it's really important to always be expanding and trying new things so I'm not gonna spend time on them but I wanted to mention them because I do think that you as well need to try things for your books because every author is so different and what I share with you here might not actually work well for you you might need to try other things the next one is newsletter swap slash promo through book funnel and i'm going to lump that together with the bookbub feature deal and those type of newsletters from promo and deal sites because i have done the bookbub feature deal and technically i have done newsletter swaps with author friends but specifically for the newsletter swaps where you get to know another author and then you both talk about each other's book I think I could do a better job of that and I specifically put book funnel on here because I know that they have some sort of feature there where authors can connect and I would like to do that at some point but the book bub feature deal is my absolute favorite marketing tactic since I've began publishing so far because that one has made me thousands of dollars and I honest to goodness love it so if you want to know more again I'm trying to keep this book picture so I'll put this video in the description box below if you want to watch and learn more about it and if you want to know how much I made from it I also have these videos over on my patreon page in the video club those are exclusive for my patrons where you can find out how it went <laughs> and then the next one is Goodreads giveaways and I specifically put in parentheses before the release because I learned the hard way that after release is not really as effective but I do think before a release is and if you want to know more on that surprise I have these videos here which I will also link below if you want to know more about Goodreads giveaways the next one is ARCs and I put ARCs so ARC stands for advanced reader copy it's something you give out in exchange for an honest review from readers and then ARC stands for early reader copies and that's just what I call the copies that I give specifically to my patrons as a thank you because I I don't expect them to review unless they want to but I give them copies of my books prior to release as well just as a thank you for supporting me 
I also have a video about ARCs, so I'll put that below as well if you want to watch it. After that, we have giveaways and freebies, and I need to do an updated video on this, but you have to have a goal behind your giveaways. You can't just do them for the sake of doing them. So I usually try to have a strategy, whether it's growing your social media account and you say, if you want to enter, you need to follow and tag so many friends so they could discover you, that kind of thing. Or you could try using a giveaway to spread the word about your book, kind of get some word of mouth going and say, if you share, you know, this picture of my cover reveal or something about my book or whatever it might be, then you're entered in the giveaway that way. The next one is your release incentives or pre-order incentives. And so this video right here, talks more about that. Are you surprised? I'm gonna have a video on like every topic. This one you'd think would be easier for me to remember, but honestly, when you're in the chaos of a pre-order season and you're trying to market all these different ways, it can be easy to forget. And so I think it's important to consider what is some kind of incentive that I can offer. Often it's like swag or something like that that can get people to wanna pre-order the book instead of waiting till after the release. Again, check out that video if you wanna know more. <laughs> After that, I have exclusives. And within parentheses, I have a few of my favorite examples. So I'll give exclusive chapters. Like if you are signed up for my newsletter, you will get to see chapter one or two or three, sometimes even more before the rest of the world, before the book comes out. Other exclusives I've done could be live streams. Um, and then I've seen authors do another POV from the story, usually after the release in that case, that nobody else gets to read again. It's usually a newsletter incentive. If you want a video about newsletter, incentives it is on my list just comment below and let me know because I do want to do that eventually the next one is signed copies and or book plates and surprise let's swivel the camera around I'm gonna show you that I have some signed copies here on this shelf but also up here on the top that I'm going to be adding to my website soon I would like to do another signed book sale and I personally do signed book sales virtually which I have this video on and I'll link it below but you could also do an in-person book sale and believe it or not I have videos on that as well because I've done different book events including having book signings at Barnes and Noble. Signed copies are really fun for your readers and I keep it on my list because I don't usually keep that open year around so I like to have a little reminder to consider doing a signed copy sale at least once a year. The next one is swag and this could be all kinds of fun stuff like bookmarks. I don't know I don't think technically book plates count but character art from your story if you have it. As you saw, the next one's very related because again, the character art here could also be used online on social media and you could put it up on your website as well. And then the last one on this left side here of like bigger picture ideas is your cover reveal and just kind of revealing things in general like your release date and your blurb. I think it's really important to build up the hype. The more that you can get people excited before you reveal something, the better. So. That's why I try to keep that on my list and remember, hey, you could actually do this individually. You could start with the title and just reveal that. And then later on, you could reveal the blurb, what it's about and kind of spend some time on that and then land on the cover reveal last. You know what I mean? So it's fun. The more you can kind of build the excitement, the better. Now let's talk about this side of the page, which the other stuff might've been paid in some cases, a lot of cases, but this side is organic free marketing for your book on social media. Think of this page more like a prompts page. It's prompting you to think about things that you could discuss on social media to get readers excited about your book. So the first one is the characters and or the world, honestly, anything related to the book and the story. The next one is behind the scenes of writing, it could also be behind the scenes of publishing or even marketing if you wanted to. I don't know if readers are always interested in this. This is somewhat particular to my audience, but if you have an audience who's interested in the writing of the book, or even they just wanna know, ooh, what is she writing next? That kind of stuff, it can be fun to share behind the scenes. Very similar to that are excerpts from the story and below that quotes with graphics, but I keep these two separate because an excerpt from the story, you could actually take a picture of the first page of chapter one, or it could be a bigger excerpt that you again have to sign up for the newsletter to get this like hey I I'm gonna share with you guys the whole chapter one as long as you sign up for my newsletter that's where you're gonna get it versus a quote with a graphic is usually more like a one-liner type situation and you usually will put it together on something like Canva for example and I have this video here if you want to know more about how to do that I have so many videos on marketing it's hilarious but I hope that they'll be helpful for you guys then we have our secrets or extras and how would I differentiate I'm I'm sorry like 
this is very much not scripted of a video. So I feel like as I'm thinking about that, I'm sure I meant something when I wrote it. It kind of is the same thing as behind the scenes and exclusives, honestly. If I can remember why I wrote that separately, I'll let you know. <laughs> but then the next one is why I wrote this story. And I think that this is not just a writer focused thing. I think readers really enjoy knowing why you wrote something. Like for me, I have a passion for writing Persian characters in books because my husband is Persian and that means that my son is also half Persian. And so I think it's really cool to have some representation out there that I, I'm sure there is, but I haven't seen a lot of it. So it's really, really fun for me to get to include that in my stories. That's just one example. And I think we all have our why. So if you don't know what it is off the top of your head, I bet you, if you think a little deeper on it, you will know exactly why you want to write your book. After that, we have tropes in the stories. And I'm so bad at this one. Uh, it's things like, for example, I know I have slow burn romance. I know because because sometimes my reviews are like, they're not together yet. And I'm like, no, they're not. I like slow burn. <laughs> I know that I have like the heist and the found family tropes. What else? Actually, I think this could expand beyond tropes. I think it could also include sharing the genre and the like what to expect from the story type stuff. Like for me, you can expect that my books are retelling. So you're going to find fun little Easter eggs from the original stories. Like my Aladdin retelling has a lamp and there's a Ginny and things like that. <laughs> The next one is an ask me about questionnaire as I call it. And this is an Instagram feature, but you could probably do it anywhere where you just say, you know, ask me about my new WIP. What do you want to know about this story? This next one is my favorite, honestly, and I need to do this more often because testimonials or in the case of authors, specifically reviews of your book are going to hold way more weight than anything I could say personally about my book. If it comes from another reader, it's just, it's so powerful. And so I need to make more of an effort to do this. As you can see, I've got a lot of things I like to do, but I wanna like kind of put into rotation, occasionally sharing reviews of my books, even books that have been published years ago, because I think it's really valuable to share what another reader thinks. Sharing the synopsis of the story and or the tagline should be obvious, but again, I have it on here because it's one of those things that it's almost so obvious that I forget to do it. And I think especially leading up to a release, I need to share the synopsis more than once. So I usually reveal it at some point, but I think it's really valuable to include it in post as you lead up to the release as well, if you have room, just to remind people who might not have seen the first post about it. A lot of people don't see everything you post on social media. In fact, probably everybody sees just a fraction of what you post, so it doesn't hurt to repeat the synopsis. I have a read along on here. Oh, that was like really, really complicated, but really fun. And I think I have that saved over on Instagram if you wanna check it out on my IGTV, if you wanna know more about how I did that. Ooh, pick a page and I'll share a line. I just have this in quotation marks because I've seen at least five or six other authors do this, usually right before the release when the book is pretty solid. And you'll just, yeah, say pick a page and I'll share a line. And then readers get to throw out numbers like 311. Usually you give them the range, by the way. And then you go to that page and you find a line that isn't spoilery and you share. It's that easy and it's really fun. Same thing with the next one. These are a bunch of games really it is pick your favorite and then I have fill in the blank like your favorite character or your favorite place in the book. For my book they have gifts which are abilities so I could say pick your favorite gift that you would have and this is one that you probably want to do after your book is out and you already have some people who have read it otherwise it's probably gonna not get a lot of answers. Same thing with the next one which is tailored to my book but just imagine like a version for your book. So I have if you were Ari which is my main character what would you fill in the blank and it's another game where you're like, what would you do in this situation? Like when the path splits in two ways, which path would you take? And actually I'm going to jump ahead past audiobook snippet because that's pretty self-explanatory and I do want to do that at some point. But the next game in here is in quotation marks again, based on your phone battery percentage, you are again, fill in the blank. For example, in my books, I'll have, if your phone is at 75% to 100%, you are a Ginny. If you're at 50 to 75%, you're a dragon. If you're at this percent to that percent, you're a mer, aka mermaid. And if your phone's almost dead, you're a human. <laughs> 
I can't take credit for that. I've seen that game played in the Bookstagram community a lot. And so I think you could also, this is like an extra tip, probably check out other games in the Bookstagram community and follow people on Instagram who also read books and who love books and just see what they post about and get a lot of ideas from them. After that, we have how I came up with the story. This is different from the why. We're talking now about the how. So for example, one of my favorite stories to tell is how I came up with the Stolen Kingdom. I was talking to my husband who's from Iran and he was saying how Jin or Ginny, technically there, means the devil. And I was like, wait, what? And I looked it up on the internet. I started, you know, Googling. So I'm curious like that. And I was like, no, that's not at all what it says. It says that they can be either good or bad. And for some reason that in my mind kind of started to parallel with like angels and demons. And I started to picture this whole like Ginny race that could be either good or evil. And they were kind of like angels and demons and they had these abilities and it just totally spiraled out from there. And that's how my series began. Below that, that we have other frequently asked questions and I do think this is going to vary per author but if you have questions that commonly come up then you can randomly decide to answer them be like the other day I was asked this and here's the answer and then at the bottom I have something really important that I want to point out to you which is remove their doubts invite questions hook them and aim for the no like and trust factor. And so if you want to know more about the no like and trust factor, I actually have this video right here where I really dug into it. And it's one of my favorite things to talk about. So I also talk a lot about it in secrets to selling books on social media, if you want to know more. And in there, I actually have a whole chapter on the no like and trust principle where I break down this funnel and how it works. So if you want to know more, I will also link this guy below. I wasn't planning on saying that, but it just felt natural. <laughs> That is my comprehensive list of book marketing strategies and tools that I've really enjoyed using. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you have questions about them, or if you want a video on any of those that I haven't done, there's like probably two that I haven't done a video on, <laughs> then you can definitely request that in the comments below and let me know what you think. Otherwise, I hope you go ahead and check out those other videos because I really appreciate it when you guys watch my videos. It means a lot and I hope they're very helpful for you. All right, that's really everything. So I will talk to you guys again next time. Bye. It started